So first here, we're going to see the simple function. So to create a function, we use the keyword fn, and then we give a name of the function. So the convention here is to have snake case, meaning everything lowercase. And when you have multiple words, you put underscore. And we're just going to do a println hello from another function. Then to call the function, you just go to the main here or to any other functions, obviously, and call it as function name. They open the parentheses, empty here because we don't have any arguments, and the semicolon. We press save and we get the hello from another function. So now, like in many other languages, if we want a function that takes some arguments, we define the function the same way, and then between the parentheses, we give the argument name followed by the type and comma when we have multiple arguments. And arguments basically is like variables within the function code block. And then to call such a function, very similar, we give the function name, open the parentheses, and then we give the value. Could be variables as well. Press save, and we get our x and gravity. The third type of function here is a function that returns a value. The way you define it here is function name again, open parentheses. You can obviously have some arguments. And then the way you define the returning value is with a dash and a greater than, which makes like a small arrow. And then you have the type you want to return. So that is a must. And then we use a keyword return. And then we're going to return x plus 1. And then in the main function here, we can assign the return value to a variable. So we're going to do let y equal plus 1. 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to do the print again for the value of y. Press save, and we get our 1, 2, 4. So obviously in functions, you can have any kind of block of code. So here, for example, we can assign the result to a variable, and then we can return the variable. Press save, and then it works exactly the same. There's another way of returning a value of a function, and that is to turn the code block of the function, the one between the braces, into an expression. And you do that by having the last line not ending with a semicolon. So in Rust, semicolons matter, and in a good way. So for example here, let's do it. So the last line here, we're going to remove the keyword return, and then we're going to remove the last semicolon. And that turns this block of this function here with the braces into an expression, which means that the last line will be the value of this expression. And that will have, in this case, the exact same result as what we did before when we had the keyword return. And so here, if we press save, then we have exactly the same result. And that is extremely useful here because it's not that the function is stopping and returning the value, it's that the code block is ending with a value. And because it's a feature of a code block and not only of a function, it can be used in many other contexts, like if-else and matches. And this is probably one of the aspects of Rust that makes the language very effective and fun to use. In the next section, we'll see a little example of it in the context of a if-else. Okay, so this will conclude our function section for this chapter.